Well, um, you know, we did a lot of good things uh, early. I thought our ball movement was pretty good and, uh, you know, got up 20 there. Uh, but I was disappointed, you know, defensively the second half. You know, they just they kind of got whatever they wanted. Um, shooting percentage first half, you know, was 29% for them and second half was 50, you know. And uh, so, you know, we've got a tremendous amount of work to do. Uh, but I, you know, I told the guys start the game that you know, Army was going to come in here and play really hard and with a lot of energy, and and they did. You know, they really got after it. I, I love their sets. I love the way they spread the floor, and and uh, they played really hard. And uh, at times, you know, we were concerned about missing shots, and so our defensive intensity wasn't what it should have been. Um, so it, you know, it's kind of what I've been telling them for the last couple, three weeks, how much work we have to do. And, uh, you know, we just, we got to go to the floor and, and get back to work because, and we've got to get a lot done before Tuesday. Well, defensively in transition, um, you know, we, we just don't talk. You know, the first half, uh, we gave up transition baskets. Second half, we did. So that, that's the first thing, when, when people can just get easy baskets and transition because your lack of communication, um, you know, that's disappointing. And then sometimes you could say, well, it was new guys, and, but a couple times it was our vets, you know, just uh, not picking up. So that was the first thing. And then 17 turnovers, something that's been bothering us. Uh, you know, two areas we like to win, points off turnovers and uh, fast break points, we got kicked in both of them. So. Uh, those are two areas we, we definitely have to address. Second 25 three-pointers, is that something that's kind of been a problem with Tony Brown a little bit? Well, I, you know, we had some good looks. They were packing the middle, and, and, you know, we had some good looks, but, you know, we took some that were questionable, and, and when you take a questionable one and miss it, uh, you know it, your teammates know it, everybody knows it, and then you get a little hesitant on the next one. You know, I thought our shot selection second half was a little better, and our percentage was four for nine. You know, I thought we took some better ones there. But um, no, I you know twenty five is not a bad number. I'm you know I didn't have. I thought we took a lot of quick ones early. You know, we were excited to play, and you know we. I think first TV timeout we might have taken eight. You know, so uh, we got a little carried away with ourselves there. Dylan just kind of pressing a little bit too hard right now. Well, he, yeah, no, he's you know he's not playing to his strengths, and uh, you know he's he's got a lot of work to do. You know, he's uh, real casual with the ball and, and uh, uh, just, you know, he's got to get back to garden and rebounding. He, he did get seven rebounds, which was encouraging. and kept the ball alive on a couple. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's part of it. He sat out all year, and he's, he's trying to make up those 30 games that he missed in, in one night, two nights. So, What, what are his strengths? Uh, rebounding, playing defense, you know, uh, Driving the ball and making plays for his teammates. Do you approach him about that, or do you? If he's played a lot of games, where do you kind of let him figure it out on his own? No, we'll you know we'll talk to him. Um, you know he's it come around. He just is going to take some time. From a coaching standpoint, here before the best second half of the era for you, you know, as a school that studies that and can't get the first one to go away from you, as a program. Well, we've had we've had three reminders of that already. Now we, we Oklahoma scrimmage and and uh, Northwest Christian scrimmage and this one. So we 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 should we should have it figured out by now. Uh, that's that's three in a row. So you know we like I said we we've got a lot of work to do and and uh, and I've been really telling our guys that for the last two three weeks. You know I, I liked our first couple of weeks and then we just didn't seem you know we kind of got stuck in a gear. And, and we're having a hard time getting out of that. And uh, so, you know, we we better figure out a way to get in, in another gear before Tuesday night. I know that. Dana, uh, Jordan is really complimentary of Peyton's game and how he distributed the ball. How would you characterize your guard play tonight against the two of them? Oh, you know, defensively, not very good. Uh, I, I thought our defensive effort from our guards was, was not very good. I thought at times offensively, they moved the ball pretty well. Um, you know, again, Peyton had four turnovers and Dylan had four turnovers and, you know, we, we can't have that. Um, so, 
Uh, yes and no. You know, I, I thought they did some good things. Kind of like the whole team. You know, we did some good things, but a uh, tremendous amount of work that, that needs to be done. Is that the amount of time that you wanted to take to train the whole coach? Oh, I don't know. I, we're we're not worried about that right now. We we got a lot of work to do, and you know, guys are going to up and down with minutes. We had some foul trouble tonight, which uh, you know, Casey got two in the first <laughs> half, kind of limited his numbers. You know, minutes in the first half. So uh, we haven't thought too much about minutes yet. Is that sort of a kind of give and take you get with Peyton right now? Is he's really aggressive with the ball, maybe more so than some of the other guards, but it seems like he's had some turnovers. Well, you know, uh, his turnovers, he's just trying to do too much. You know, so many of our turnovers right now, we, you know, we're not moving the ball and trusting our teammates. We're trying to do too much, we're trying to make a play every time we touch it, you know, and. Uh, you know, we're not picking and choosing our spots very well. So, yeah, I mean, I, a couple of his turnovers tonight, you know, the ball only got on one side of the floor, so the defense was all there, and, you know, he tried to make a play. And it's a little easier if that ball gets from side to side. Army did a tremendous job of that. They got it side to side and then made their move after that and, and got our defense out of position. Uh, so we should learn something from, from what they showed us. They, they did a nice job of getting that ball one, two, three sides, and then attack. And we wanted to attack from the first side and their zone or their defense where the manor zone was set. And that's why we made some some basketball plays that didn't look very good. Our guys were just not very patient at all. Coach was saying that you guys maybe aren't losing your top player to Baylor as opposed to last year when you guys have that underdog mentality. How do you control the change in mentality and being maybe favorable in this game? Well, that, you know, that comes from leadership from within the team. Um, you know, I... I have been doing a real good job of listening to my warnings here. And, and so I, I hope that the leadership, you know, Jordan and, and the guys got to talk about it. You know, it's it's, it's their ball team. And, uh, you know, they're, they're going to make the decision and identity for their team. And, uh, you know, we give them some suggestions. But uh, uh, they're going to have to change the way they approach it. And, you know, uh, they got themselves prepared to play Baylor last year. We did. We we took, you know, I think they were ranked when they came in here, and we weren't. And, you know, it was a big ball game for us. It's a big ball game for us going down there, and, and we'll be the underdogs going down there. You know, you're on the road, and uh, you're not playing very well. We'll be the underdogs going down there. You know, so whether they think they're the favorites or not, you know, I, you know, going down there and playing, and it, it'll be a tough ball game for us. Coach, what is it about Peyton? Well, I, you know, I, I think he's really talented. You know, he's, he, he loves the game. Uh, you know, he and Casey have been battling in practice and, and doing a good job there. So, you know, he's tried to prepare himself. And, and a big part of that's, you know, been his practice habits. And, uh, again, you know, just like a lot of our guys tonight, just got real impatient. Any day off of the concussion, or are you seeing about registering him? Well, uh, he, he did have a concussion. Uh, we went through the protocol. Uh, when he came back, he tweaked his knee a little bit, and, and so now he's out with that. Um, you know, it's, it's something that we are considering, but uh, we won't make a decision on, you know, until uh, the start of conference season. You know, you, you think about it, but, uh, you know, we could have injuries in other places. So as soon as he's ready to come back and practice, we'll start practicing. But we have discussed it with him. We have discussed it with his family. Uh, so there is a possibility, but but nothing's etched in stone. Do you have a proud record, proud for an opening night? Oh, the people, you know, fans were great. The students were great. You know, I I wish we'd have, we'd have been a little sharper, you know, and and uh, paid a little more attention to detail and, and had a better ball game. But uh, no, it that was it was great to see. You know, the fans were great. The students, you know, were were lined up. The the pit crew was good. Um, and like I said, I wish we could have been a little sharper for him. Kind of piggybacking off that a little bit. Two years ago for your season opener, you guys had 5,400 fans there. Two years later, it's sold out. You had a contract extension today. Just what what's that mean for kind of the state of this program right now? Well, I you know we we've done some good things. We've been very fortunate to have good guys to work with, and and um, you know we. My wife and I love it here. We want to be here. We're, we're very appreciative of, of the university and Rob and, and the president. Um, 
you know, for uh, for extending us and, and wanting us here. I, you know, I, I want to be here. I, I want to coach. Uh, I love going to work. So, um, you know, we, we feel very fortunate. And uh, the people here in, in Eugene and across the state have been good to us. You know, they've been, you know, we really feel comfortable. And, um, and we got good guys. And we got a good recruiting class signed. And, and our freshmen are good. Uh, we just got a lot of work to do. You know, and uh, you know, we maybe thought a little bit too much of ourselves, and and uh, we got to get back to a little different identity, a little different mentality. But uh, you know, I, th I think we can get there. Coach, you mentioned the, the signing, the class that you just signed. Can you talk a little bit about the three guys that you just, just signed? If you want to do that now. Yeah, I, I can. Um, you know, Troy Brown is is has got a chance to be a special player. Uh, he's versatile. Uh, He's played on a national scale. Uh, he's with the USA team. You know, he's just um, he's played all over the world. You know, I mean, he's 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 a special player, a special young man, and and great family. We're really excited. You know that that he decided to to come play for us. Uh, B.J. Bailey is a, a six three guard from from Austin, and a really good athlete, explosive. Uh, got a really good mid-range game. I, I think they got a big win tonight. I think they beat the number one team in Texas, Westlake, tonight. Uh, so, um, in their opener. So, uh, really talented. And then Abu is, is someone that um, you know I followed for two or three years here, and uh, you know I just I like his upside. I, I think he's a hard-nosed, tough. You know, gives us the identity that that we want to have. Um, I think a really good team guy, and and. Um, so, you know, kind of like Dylan Brooks, you know, to just kind of somebody that he plays like, you know, he's, he's got a lot of same similarities as Dylan. He plays the game with a passion and, you know, so I, I think he'll be, be good for our team. So uh, those three guys are, you know, really talented, really good. And, and then you mix them with the three freshmen that we have this year, uh, Peyton and Key Smith and, and Michael Cage, you know, it's, it's, a really good core, you know, similar to the core that when Jordan Bell and Casey and, and Dylan Brooks, you know, that kind of gave us a core that year, you know. So you get those classes, three or four guys, and if you can keep them together, which is, you know, a big if with the transfers and one and dones and all those things. But if you can keep them together for a while, we um, it's a very talented group, group and, a, and a group I really look forward to working with. I think that really going to, Get in the gyms and work, and you know I I like those guys to get in the gym and work. So, anybody else? All righty, thanks.